Hello YouTubians! Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick Python tutorial on how to make a quick text-based game like as if you wanted something like Zork or something else. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So just go into IDLE. As you can see I've got the Halo font. Um, just go File, New Window, and this is where we can start coding. Now, what you want to do is you want to first just do that so you can save it. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Do you save as, sorry. Um, now, save it where you want. I'll put it in my documents. Um, I'll call it YouTube Game dot and when you do the dot please pay attention to this you do p y not p five y sorry p y then you save it now this is where you can start making your game now a quick thing that you can learn how to do is p r i n t so print and then space as like uh I don't know, a talking mark thing, then you go, hi, YouTubia, and it says, hi, YouTubia, so what you want to do, you want to go run, run module, okay, and it just says, hi, YouTubia, if you want something more advanced, like, name, equals, and then you'd go, raw underscore input then you go in brackets and then a talking mark notice that when I do talking marks I don't mean the double talking marks like you taught in primary school the 96 and 69 thing that it's just the one thing that you like do when it's there as in they are there, that sort of thing, the th, blah, 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 um, so yeah, and in here you go, say, what, what, fail, what is your name, and question mark, space, ending, one, and then, uh, closing bracket and what that does is ask you you your name so you go run module ask you your name you might go Logan as mine is but that's all it does it just asks you something if you want it so it says something after that you go print talking mark hi and then close talking mark comma space and what you named it as right here you can call this whatever you like but you go like I called it name and then the rest of it what you called it here really matters um, for in future you need to remember that you go that then you go space name and that's how you do it I'll just show you what it does so what is your name Logan then it says hi Logan well I did Lee again but anyway you get the point um so what it basically does here is print means you know just say and it says hi YouTubia then here it has that's the name of what this is called so it has raw input which is just telling the computer that you're going to be typing something in and then it asks you the question and after you type something in it goes okay so you've typed it in that's the answer now once you've gone print hi name the comma thing goes alright so this is name you're saying it here 
it must mean you're asking for the answer of that. So it's pretty much saying if you say Logan as the answer, it'll have Logan here. If you say John Smith, lol, um, it'll come up here. Um, so yeah, so if you want something like that, then you can go like that. Um, if you want it, so you go, um, let's see. Path equals raw input opening bracket talking mark. So it goes what direction do you want to go? Then I'll just have in brackets north um, and I'll just do dot 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 uh, and I'll also do n equals so you, this isn't actually a coding thing it's just what it wants uh, what it wants you to type in sort of thing uh, then you come in here close it off uh, then it goes so if you want it to say so if you want it to go north or something you go if path then you go equals equals then talking mark if you go north, then you do close, then you go or, then you do open, then you do n, because they're the two different options I've given you. Like you can either say north or you can say n. And then you go like that, then you do the clock thing. I can't remember what's that. what that's called. Um, I think it's like colon or something. Then you press enter and you see it's gone further across the line. So you go print. Sometimes it turns purple, don't know why. Um, so print you are going um, north. And then close that off. If you come over here and you go if path equals equals um then let's say uh south and then you close it then you do or then you go s close it do the same thing do print and just go yo dude so that's what you got so you go run, run module, and then it goes, what is your name? Logan. Hi, Logan. What direction do you want to go? N equals north, etc. And then maybe you want to go east. So you just go E. Uh, oops, sorry, I mucked up there. It's gone wrong. Does it have to be like that? I don't know. It might. Run module. Okay. Okay. Maybe not. Okay, I've marked up here, guys. And north. Or. Path. If path equals equals no, I'll try it again. Okay, I'll just skip through that. I'll go N. Okay, that's gone a bit weird. Um, I'll just pause it and skip to where I find the problem. Okay, I fixed it. Um. Yeah, this is my game I've been working on.
stopped for a little bit on the right here. Um, I forgot to have, if you have an or, then you have to repeat from here. So if you go or, you have to go that and then the thing that you want inside of it. But anyway, yeah, I fixed it. So you go if path equals south or path equals s. And when I say equals, I mean double equals there. Um, so there's a clock thing. Then it has it there, so I'll just show you that it works. Yeah, Logan, so north. Yeah, now it works. So that's the basics. Um, that's all I've used in mine. Uh, so, like, things you can have is... Uh, up here it has things, then it has... Where is it? It's down here, so yeah, it goes name, so the captain of the ship is saying, thank you young deckhand, which is a cleaner, what is your name? I'll just put a space in there. Um, then, once you've typed it in, it says that you're saying it, and then it says what you're saying. So that's what I sort of did, I thought it was quite cool. Um, so yeah, it's... It's having the answer of that question here and here. The reason why it has it there is because it's like in there. Um, I'll just quickly show you what I mean. So, I'll just skip. Uh, right. I've got a lot of paths in this. Run modules. So, yes, I would like to play a game. Number one. Hold in. Lock. Uh, yes, I would like to try again. Uh, Captain, thank you, young Deccan. What is your name? So, Logan. Then it says here, I'm saying it, and this is what I'm saying. So, Captain, thank you, Logan. You saved us all. Uh, seem you saved us. You can choose where we go. North for desert, south for snow, east for woodland, or west for rainforest. And, you know, you can go, like, west or something like that. And, yeah, there's still, it's still a bit buggy, but still. So, Captain, okay, let's go. Direction, name, error. Oh, okay, so that's not defined. Oh, that's direction, not direction. Okay, I think I found out why. So yeah, it's it's also doing it here. So your name and what you're saying. And it says, okay, let's go. And yeah, so that ends my tutorial. I may or may not have more Python tutorials. I don't know. Depends how good this does on YouTube. If you guys like it or not or whatever. So... Yeah, see you in the next video I make.